We're here in California's wine country with two of the biggest and strongest pickup trucks sold in the United States. The Ford Super Duty is the 2011 model, that's the new player in the segment, and last year's strong player, in fact, Motor Trend's 2010 Truck of the Year, the 2010 Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. What's new about the Super Duty? Two brand new engine, a new 6.2 liter gas engine and a brand new 6.7 liter turbo diesel and a new six-speed sourced by Ford, built by Ford, specifically to deal with both engines. On the Dodge side, two engines, one gas, one diesel, the Cummins turbo diesel, the 6.7 liter, brand new just a couple of years ago, no modifications this year, but is the strong puller in the segment. Also Dodge offers the 5.7 liter Hemi, 380 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque, is still a strong puller for anybody that wants a heavy-duty truck without the turbo diesel engine. So come along with us as we try to find out who is the king of the heavy haulers. So we're here in the Super Duty on our first drive loops. Truck is completely empty and we get a chance to feel how this does in just real world daily driving. The truck itself, from a construction point of view, the frame isn't that much different. I guess there's some extra cross members and they had to do a little bit of tweaking because the big news is obviously the powertrain, a new 6.7 liter power stroke engine and six-speed automatic transmission behind it. The diesel is taken in-house. It used to be made by International. Now it's being made by Ford. 390 horsepower, 735 foot-pounds of torque. So for anybody who's hauling big loads occasionally or constantly, this is probably a pretty good choice. And from what I'm feeling at this point, it's pretty impressive. The new interior is freshened. It's not completely revamped. But what is unique and different about this 2011 model is the information center that gives you oil temperature, fuel economy, uh, it tells you about tire pressures, it tells you about tranny temperatures, it gives you all sorts of trip and auto information that you might want, how many hours the engine has been running. A lot of good information that people who tow and use trucks on a professional or even just personal basis need to know and want to know. So far, so good, but a lot of the personality of a pickup truck is built into how it hauls and how it tows, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see how this truck performs in those situations. Okay, now we've just jumped into the Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. It's the 2010 model. I love what they've done with the interior. It's a huge upgrade from what it was before. Much better material usage, much better layouts, uh, very similar to the half-ton Dodge Ram, which had so much success last year. Definitely like the way the vehicle is sounding. It's got that Cummins diesel engine to it. When it's empty, that's probably not the area that it loves to deal with. Cummins engines historically love to pull heavy loads, love to carry heavy loads. This 6.7 liter obviously is very strong. If I compare it to the Super Duty, there's just something about the front suspensions in particular that seem very, very different. They're both live axles, they're both coil springs, but the Super Duty has two giant locating arms attaching to the front live axle. Dodge is a little bit different. They have four links that actually locate and attach that live axle. Seems to do a good job, but there's just something about irregularities in the road that seem to cause a little more front end vibration. We've just finished our empty drive loops with each pickup truck, but now we're at our secret equestrian center location where we've measured and weighed each vehicle in order to calculate exactly what the exact payload number for each truck is. We've loaded each truck with horse bedding, 35 pound bags, 57 bags each in each pickup truck. Now we're gonna take them over the same course and see how each pickup truck performs then. Okay, now we're here with the bed loaded. In the case of this 2011 Super Duty that we have, this is pretty nice. There's a lot of little features the engineers have clearly incorporated in. The tow haul mode also incorporates a lot of transmission and diesel engine information, so they're constantly talking to each other and as a consequence, making some delicate, small changes back and forth. And I have to say that the smoothness and the refinement and the ability for this vehicle to make its shifts from a dead stop as well as at speed and the passing power that it has is very impressive. Okay, now we're in our Ram Heavy Duty, fully loaded. My first impression 
seems to be centered on the rear axle and how it's carrying weight. There's a five leaf pack in the Dodge and there's a three leaf pack in the Super Duty. There's just something a little more controlled about how this Dodge is taking some of the corners and some of the irregularities in the road. What I don't seem to like is at least when I put it into manual mode, the transmission doesn't seem to fall to my thumb. It's got a nice little thumb shifter that when I grab the shifter handle seems to be directly underneath my palm. In fact, I'm even accidentally sometimes shifting up or down when I don't want to. All right, now we're at the stage where we get to test these trucks pulling a heavy trailer. We've set up both of these trucks with horse trailers filled to the hilt with horse bedding. 140 bags, 35 pounds each behind each pickup truck over the same drive loops we've done for the last couple of days. So we're here on our trailer portion of the test. I've got about somewhere between 6,500 and 7,000 pounds on the back end of this Super Duty. I have to say I like what I'm feeling. Very little wag, really good power, good pickup feels like the engine is well within its comfort zone. For right now, it feels very comfortable and very confident. Now we're here on the trailering loop with the Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. And there's some distinct differences that I can pick up between the Super Duty and the Ram Heavy Duty. The most obvious of which is the noise that a Cummins engine makes, which I personally like. There's just a, more of a growl, more of a rumble, the Ford Super Duty, definitely more refined. We mentioned that quieter, much smoother and shifting when empty, much smoother and shifting when loaded. But here on the trailering loop, there's a, a certain amount of confidence and a sense of reserve power that you have with an engine that's this strong. So here we are at the end of our test and it's time to pick a winner. Now the Ram Heavy Duty does a lot of things really well. It's got a great new exterior, the interior is a huge improvement from the previous model, and the Cummins engine is pretty much the standard in the segment. However, Ford has a lot riding on this Super Duty. They had a couple of problems with the previous generation. They've bought the powertrain in-house, they've designed a new gas engine, a new diesel engine, and an incredibly smart six-speed transmission. But the one aspect that really separated the Ford Super Duty from the Ram Heavy Duty was the integration between the new six-speed and the all-new Power Stroke engine. Whether we were doing driving loops empty or fully loaded, the Ford Super Duty was always up to the task. And that's why the 2011 Ford Super Duty is our king of the heavy haulers. <laughs>